I'm going to teach you more in the next 60 seconds about the thyroid than most board-certified endocrinologists know. I call it Hashimoto's nonsense. The thyroid. The thyroid gland is right here in the neck. It produces two hor hormones. It produces T4, and it produces something called T3. Only here's the little-known secret about the thyroid. It only produces 20% of this hormone of T3. Yet Hashimoto's is diagnosed as clinically low T3. It's also called hypothyroid. But wait a second. We're diagnosing hypothyroid, but it's only responsible for 20% of the thyroid in my bloodstream. So the question is, where does the rest of it come from? So where does the rest of that hormone come from? In Hashimoto's, it comes from T4. It's methylated. This is that process called methylation that I was just talking about. The raw material is T4. The body converts it into T3. This doesn't even happen in the thyroid. Your endocrinologist absolutely does not know that fact because it was completely made up. The only difference between T4 and T3 is T4 has four iodine atoms and T3 has three iodine atoms. And if you look at the chemical formula, T4 has 11 hydrogen atoms and T3 has 12. Because this iodine gets replaced by a hydrogen. Methylation is the addition of four hydrogens and one carbon. Absolutely no methylation occurs from this step to this step. Because methylation is not involved in the conversion of T4 to T3 meaning Gary's suggestion to buy his methylated B vitamin supplement, will do absolutely nothing to improve the conversion of T4 to T3. And additionally, his claim... The question is, where does the rest of the T3 hormone come from? Well, it is methylated from T4. We take T4 and we, and we break it down into T3, and this happens in the gut. Is also completely made up, because T4 is converted into T3 through an enzyme called the deiodinase enzyme. These enzymes are typically located on the specific cell that that T3 is going to affect, including the liver, the kidney, the thyroid, the skeletal muscle, the adipose tissue, the brain, skin, osteoblasts, the eye, the cochlea, the placenta, the endothelial cells, and only a very tiny amount is located in the gastrointestinal tract. And when T4 is converted into T3 within the gastrointestinal tract, no methylation occurs whatsoever and that T3 will only affect the gastrointestinal tract and no other tissues. In essence, the idea that B vitamin supplements will support the methylation of T4 into T3 and help to cure Hashimoto's or any other thyroid condition is entirely made up. And there is no evidence whatsoever that taking methylated B vitamins will have any effect on your circulating T3 levels, nor will getting a multi-hundred dollar methylation test give you insight as to why your circulating T3 levels are low.